Hi, it's me again, and hopefully we all survived filling out the timeline. There it is. Um, now we're going to cover Boy Scouts in the environment. So that's like right below, right there. Uh, so we're going to fill that out as I read the section on it. Um, I'll try to get, stay ahead a little bit here. Okay, so um, Boy Scouts in the environment. In the early 1900s, as the conservation movement grew, two separate organizations for boys that focused on nature and the environment were founded. In 1902, the Woodcraft Indians was started in Connecticut by naturalist Ernest Thompson Seton to preserve the wilderness knowledge of American Indians. As one of the foremost naturalists of his time, Seton spoke between the U.S. Congress in 1904 in support of legislation which had been authored by William T. Hornaday to protect migratory birds. So the first line there is... Date is 1902, and because it, there's so much to write, I go ahead and kind of squish this together. So, Seton founded the Woodcraft Indians, and their purpose was to preserve wilderness knowledge. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all could hear him. Um, okay, about the same time, Daniel Carter Beard, a former surveyor and engineer who became an author and who became an author and illustrator, wrote a book titled The American Boy's Handy Book. In 1905, Beard founded a club called Sons of Daniel Boom, Boone, B-O-O-N-E, to, to teach boys about nature, conservation, and outdoorsmanship. So that's what I wrote here. 1905, Beard, he founded the Sons of Daniel Boone. Uh, and they focus on nature, conservation, and outdoorsmanship. There you go. Okay, on February 8th, 1910, Seton and Beard merged their separate boys clubs into the Boy Scouts of America. Publisher William D. Boyce founded this new organization. From its beginnings, the Boy Scouts of America had a strong foundation of woodcraft, nature study, and conservation. Many activities in scouting come from activities of American Indians. Many of the principles the scouts uphold come from the conservation ethics of Seton and Beard. Okay. So there's that. And then this is my last one. I couldn't really stretch it into all the blanks, so... So I'd say um, the BSA has taught more than 45 million young environmentalists throughout its history. Currently, with more than 1.5 million active members, the BSA continues to train American youth in principles of conservation and environmental science. So now uh, the BSA, this is weird. BSA is teaching greater than 1.5 million youth conservation and environmental science. So there you go. Hopefully that wasn't too painful for you. I wish I had some music, but since you're using an iPod, I don't have music. And that's Benaya flushing the toilet. <laughs>